All right, what's up, everybody? This is the Kid DC Wrestling. I'm here to bring you all your November 14th edition of Monday Night Raw. We are exactly two weeks away before the WWE Survivor Series War Games pay-per-view event. And, of course, tonight, with us getting close to that show, we had to get you know more built to the show, including another member added to, of course, Team Bianca and... Team Bailey or Damage Control, whichever one you want to call it. But let's go ahead and kick off the show, man. We kicked the show off with Rollins in the ring. And, of course, this led to, um, you know, we, we had, you know, him talking about theory or all that stuff. But Bobby Lashley came out basically saying how he wants to get his United States Championship back. Ali coming out there is like to the ring with the referee. He was going straight after Lashley. And that what led to... Our first match of the night being Bobby Lashley versus Ali. Now, you may look at this as your typical old squash match. Bobby pretty much dominated this entire matchup. Ali got maybe one or two moves in, and that was it. I like the story they played here. You know, obviously, Bobby Lashley, since losing to Brock Lesnar, since losing the United States Championship, his main focus is hurting people, beating people up, getting back what's rightfully his, the U.S. title. So I really like the story they played here. And let's be real, I don't think nobody and their mother was expecting Ali to beat Bobby Lashley, uh, you know, let alone get that much damage on him. So I thought this was a great way to display it. Now, Ali's supposedly supposed to compete in that World Cup tournament on Friday. I don't know if he's still going to be able to after what Bobby did to him tonight, but we shall see. Mia Yim versus Tamina was next. I thought this was easily the weakest match on the show. I, I didn't really care for this much. I will say, though, given the win, the Mia Yim made sense. But you could just tell this was a match. The crowd wasn't really into it. I wasn't really giving this any sort of reaction. Match didn't even last that long. But Mia Yim gets the win there, obviously so, and rightfully so as well. Now, after that, we get... Matt Riddle versus Chad Gable. I, I thought this was a, I thought it was pretty, it started off solid in my opinion, but like towards the end and the middle of it, I was like, man, this went from being solid to really good. Um, Chad Gable actually got the win and I liked how they had him get the win. He didn't beat Riddle clean. He got the heel tactic, obviously his feet on the ropes with Otis. So I liked how they did that. Um, you had Corbin and JBL playing backstage a game of poker. Uh, Zawa came out there, and obviously we saw later on the night Tazira act. Tazira, Tazawa, excuse me. I don't know why I'm butchering his name, but Tazawa actually won the game of poker. So that led to their little match uh, early, later on in the show. Miz came out there. Byron was in the ring, um, and Miz was the special guest. And basically, Miz was pretty much apologizing to Dexter Loomis. You know, like, look, man, I'm sorry for everything I've done and all that stuff. Gargano came out there, was, you know, doing what Gargano's been doing for the past few weeks, just antagonizing the Miz, instigating like he's been doing. And basically, this leads to a match between Dexter Loomis and the Miz at the Survivor Series War Games pay-per-view, where, of course, if Dexter Loomis wins, Miz has to pay him for everything, and Dexter gets a WWE contract, and, of course, Miz accepts. And, of course, uh, Dexter was right there listening to him as one of the cameramen, and Miz, with his little weird way of walk, running away, I don't know why he ran the way he did, but he did. Dominic Mysterio versus Shelton Benjamin. Okay, so the match was okay. It was kind of meh. Uh, Dominic, I thought, got the win here. I kind of like what they're doing right now with Shelton Benjamin, you know, acknowledging the fact that, like, dude, like, how in the hell are you a future Hall of Famer? You were you were so good back in the day. Now you are a shell of your former self. You are enhanced Patella at this point. So I really like what they're doing with Shelton Benjamin, and it's playing into the heat of Dominic Mysterio. Um, you know, Dominic playing... I know everyone's been crapping on him, but I think he's been playing his part, being that little, you know, that dude who talks so much crap in the group, and he's the one dude who really needs to get his ass whooped the most. But of course, he's he's hiding behind his little his his other groups to protect them. You know what I'm saying? That that's who Dominic Mysterio is. So we get EO Sky versus Dana Brooke after an, after a really good Austin Theory promo after explaining like why he exactly went in on Rollins, why he cashed in on Rollins, why he didn't cash in on Roman. 
We all saw Dolph doing his thing, and of course, we'll talk about that. But EO Sky got the win here, you know, kind of like with me and Yim. The match wasn't really all that. EO obviously got the win, like expected. Uh, me and Yim comes down to the ring. She says, um, hey, you guys want me to pick a side? Well, I picked my side already. And uh, obviously, she's joining with Bianca. We saw later on in the night, Rhea's joining with Damage Control. So at this point, the group is pretty much set, except I think they need one more, I think. I think they need one more. No, I think they're good. I think the war, yeah, it's completed. It's good. We're good. We're good. War Games should be a good show. It should. But the, the team is stacked, I guess you could say. It's official. Theory versus Dolph Ziggler. This was a really good match here, man. And I loved it, what they did here. For everybody that's saying Theory was buried, well, look at it. Theory, him winning the money in the bank is making Theory more aggressive, more angry. We saw that tonight against Dolph Ziggler. He beat the heck he put the beats onto Dolph Ziggler, as we saw later on in the night, which we'll get into. But we saw Corbin versus Tozawa. I didn't really care for this, no offense. The Corbin and JBL, I will admit, they're, they're trying their best to get the heel heat. But right now, it's just kind of meh. But, you know, I mean, hell, even the theme, like Corbin's theme ain't even all that. But, yeah, the match is just kind of meh to me. The main event, Rollins, Balor, United States Championship. This was a really, really good main event, man. Probably one of the best matches on this on tonight's show. Of course, we saw the ending, man, with Rollins retaining the title. But, of course, Theory coming out there and attacking Rollins after the show. This is the theory that we need to see. You know, the the the, the, the selfie theory the, with the selfie stick. Like, like nah, man. Like, we got to We're going to ready to see a more aggressive theory, a more dangerous Austin theory, as we saw tonight. And I thought it capped off, in my opinion, what was kind of a mad episode of Monday Night Raw, in my honest opinion. Um, not a bad episode, you know what I'm saying? Not like a great episode by any means. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. And remember... Not only to subscribe to the channel, but also check out my AEW's Full Gear Predictions. I dropped that video this past Sunday. Um, was it Saturday? No, it was Saturday. Excuse me. I dropped it on um, Saturday. So if you want to go check that out, go check that out. Obviously, Full Gear is this Saturday. So if you want to go check that out, please do. Uh, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.